All right, students. So let us see this particular problem. This again uh, is that kind of a problem which would look difficult, challenging, but it's actually a very easy problem. See, for every pair of continuous functions, so the functions which are going to be in this question are continuous, f and g having domain zero to one to R such that. Now don't get confused with this kind of a statement. Let's read it out and then we learn from this question that these kind of statements should not be much of a bothering statement to you in the exam. Max of fx for some x lying between 0 to 1 is equal to maximum value of fx for 0 to 1 interval. Then the number of correct statements, that, that means the multiple correct statement where that we have to figure out. Okay, so how do we solve it? Dekhe. So max of fx is given to be equal to max of gx right when x belongs to 0 to 1 but that does not mean that they will be equal at equal inputs right so what i do is let's say i assume that the max value is capital m right generally we denote maximum value by capital m let's say max fx is equal to m at x equal to c1 some value similarly the max value of gx is equal to capital M because they are equal at x equal to let's say some other value c2 and we can say that c1 and c2 both basically belong to 0 to 1 which we are not sure what their values are but there will be some values from 0 to 1 right and also at the same time you can say that sir the maximum could occur at different values yes that is also a possibility that fx takes value m not at the c1, maybe at c3 and c4 as well. But at least we can say there will be one such value. Till that point, this is clear. Now, how to take this question further ahead from this? Sir, ab kya kare? Theke? Ab dekhe. Now, this is the most important step in these kind of questions that we assume another function hx, which we can write as, let's say, fx minus gx. Right? You have seen that we do these kind of uh, questions in such a way where we assume the function as difference of two functions, right? क्या फायदा हुआ सर इसको लेने से वो देखेगा आप। तो अब अगर मैं इसमें at x equal to c1, let's talk about what happens at x equal to c1 with regard to this particular question, है ना? क्या होता है इसमें? अब अगर h c1 निकालता हूँ मैं, तो h c1 is nothing but m minus g c1 which I can say will be greater than or equal to 0? Greater because m is the maximum value that g can take, right? I have said that here that g might take at x equal to c2, capital M value. But I can also loosely say that it can happen at c1 also. But one thing is for sure that this at c1 will be greater than or equal to 0. Ye baat pakki hui. Ab main agar isko x equal to c2 pe observe karta h c2 at to ye kitna ban jayega dekhi some value of f at c2 minus capital m and by the same logic that i have applied earlier i can say sir ye less than or equal to 0 hoga because f bachcho cannot take value greater than m to tumhe samajh mein aa gaya hoga ki sabse bada kaam yahan par na ye function assume karna tha ki how to take this particular function now if i go forward and see ki sir abhi question kya hai one value is positive, one value is negative. So if I multiply both of them, I can conclude that this is less than or equal to zero. Hoga ye wali value. Am I right? Sir, what do you know from this? You have a very important thing to know from this. What? Now you will see. I will make a box and write it. Okay. Now if we look at since fx and gx were continuous. We gave these continuous functions in the question. Ke so then I can say hx will also be continuous without any hum. Now if hx is a continuous function hai, such that at one value you are getting less than 0 and what value you are getting greater than 0. That implies hx will be equal to 0 for some, for some c lying between C1 and C2 in dono ke beech mein. That means if I have to go forward and say that H at some point of C will be equal to 0 that means 
एफ सी माइनस जी सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो फॉर सम वैल्यू ऑफ सी लाइंग बिटवीन सो दैट मीन्स एफ सी विल डेफिनेटली बी इक्वल टू जी सी फॉर अब यहाँ पर समझिएगा कई एक बच्चे यहाँ पर कन्फ्यूज होते हैं फॉर सम सी लाइंग बिटवीन सी वन टू सी टू एंड विच इनडायरेक्टली आई कैन से विच इज लाइंग बिटवीन सम वैल्यू ऑफ जीरो टू वन and i could also say this also this is not a problem because we do not know what is the exact value of c1 and c2 now if you notice if we go back to our question you wanted to find the number of correct statements so the correct statement would be the one which will give you what sort of answer where f fc is equal to gc if you notice option a here option a gives you that particular answer can you see that क्यों अगर आप ऑप्शन ए को एक्सप्लोर करते हैं तो बच्चों क्या बन रहा है एफ स्क्वेयर माइनस जी स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू माइनस टाइम आई कैन से थ्री कॉमन ले लेते हैं तो कितना बन रहा है एफ माइनस जी एंड इफ यू सी आई कैन से एफ माइनस जी इन टू एफ प्लस जी प्लस थ्री इज इक्वल टू जीरो then one of the solutions here could be f equal to g which makes sense so that is why option a comes out to be correct and one is very very evident agar aap notice kar rahe hain d option to bol hi rahe ya to fc equal to gc or fc is equal to minus gc so one of the options that is correct if we see the remaining two options we will not get fc is equal to gc here and similarly here as well so the two options which are correct is these two are these two basically and i hope now you are able and more confident of solving questions which look like very big but a simple simple way of assuming you know sum or difference of function can help you solve these bulky problems hope you have learned something and enjoyed from this particular problem keep working hard one problem a day can actually solve a lot of mathematical problems at your end god bless keep enjoying mm -hmm.